Hey, everybody. It's Alan wishing you all well. Um, it's November 10th, and that would have been Glenn Buxton's birthday. And so let's check out an old Alice Cooper tune featuring Glenn on guitar. It's a song called Below Your Means. <laughs>
nice, long, slow fade out on this track. <laughs> you know what this song kind of reminds me of? Kind of reminds me of being a teenager or, you know, in my early 20s playing in a, just a garage band, just jamming out songs, not really knowing what the hell I was doing. You know, playing through, God, what, what did I have for an amplifier back in that time period? I think I was playing through, like, um, God, I don't, I don't even remember. I think at one point I was playing through, like, a Jackson Metaltronics head. <laughs> I had an ADA preamp at one point. I had all this all this gear at one point. And this, this, what's funny is I only had one pedal. For the longest time, all I had was this old, original, New York-built Big Muff pedal by Electro Harmonics, and it just had this really cool, unbelievably dirty-sounding, oversaturated fuzz tone to it that I just used to ride on, and, you know, my buddy Mike and, and our bass player friend, and we were just... We were just the three of us just kind of jamming and jamming and jamming for hours, not really with any kind of song structure, just having a grand old time. I think I was either playing, for a period there, I was playing an Ibanez. I had an old Ibanez artist, and I had a Strat, and I can't remember what else it was. God, it was so friggin' long ago. God, we're talking well north of 30 years ago, and... It was so much fun, and it just sounds like this particular track just reminds me of that. I just, I, I close my eyes and I flash back into those long jams where we would just play for an hour straight without stopping, and it was just one idea rolling into another, and that's where I learned to sort of listen to what the other players were doing and kind of call and respond off of that, and it was just such an important part of developing as a musician was playing with other people as opposed to just sitting in a bedroom and practicing and studying playing with other people is just absolutely critical because you learn to hear you learn to listen if you're good and you want to be part of a group you have to listen and you can tell the players who don't listen compared to the players who do and it's the way that everything just sort of meshes together so perfectly that, you know, it may not be great to listen to if you're not doing it because, uh, you know, especially as a kid, you know, again, like I said, what do we know? We were just jamming. We were just having fun. And it could have been the biggest racket in the world, but it didn't matter to anybody but us. It was so much fun. Ah, just flashing back on that. Wow, that's a great memory. That's a really great memory. So, thanks. Uh, thanks, Glenn Buxton, for bringing me back to that time period with that, uh, that Alice, old Alice Cooper tune. That's cool. Hey, um, if you enjoyed this, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Just know that I appreciate y'all and I wish you well. Take care.